Hello everybody, welcome to February's Smart Art Challenge project demo and box breakdown. This month we are exploring the central tradition of the Venetian Carnival in Venice, Italy. So we're working on our very own Venetian masks this month. Uh, we have two masks included in your box this month. They are very similar, but they are both Columbina masks. They're just a little bit different. One has a design up top. So you can work with either one, do both of them. That's what's great about this month's box. You have two to work with. So they're both, like I said, Columbina style masks. These are a more modern mask. It isn't one of the traditional or original masks used, uh, but we thought it'd be fun to play around with something like this. They're usually very adorned. They have a lot of different colors. They have glitter, gold, intricate patterns on there. So I really encourage you to be creative with your project and come up with something really unique for your mask design. Okay, so we have our two masks. Uh, if you are interested and you wanna find out more about our Venetian masks and the history behind the carnival, look out for a Smart Art video coming up real soon. It's gonna talk about all about the different masks that are available, the tradition of the carnival, and a little bit of Venice, Italy itself. So look out for that coming soon. We have a six piece set this month. We have the primary colors. Uh, so you have your yellow, your red, blue. You also have a green, which will really help you blend the colors together and make many more colors, and a black and a white. So this is a full set. Uh, you can create any color you want with this assortment. And this is an acrylic wash. So it has the properties of traditional wash, which is a watercolor medium, but it has an acrylic binder in it and it's highly pigmented. So very high quality. You do want to blend it a little bit with water. I would say two parts paint to one part water. So you'll watch me use water as I'm working on my mask. Do that also. This material is very commonly used on wood panel painting. So you can use this on any surface. Don't just stick to canvas or paper. I would say try out something new, maybe decorate a mason jar or a lamp. Uh, it goes down on metal, anything. So I would encourage you to try this. You have a lot of material left over, so you'll be able to do things beyond your Venetian mask project. So we have our six piece set um, of the Turno acrylic uh, gouache. And then we also have two brushes this month. We have, I'm gonna start with the half inch brush. This is a wash brush. It's really, really soft, really great material. It looks and feels like red sable very fine bristles, but it's also firm. So you can be confident that you'll be able to pick up as much paint as you want, spread it nicely, and because it's wide, you'll be able to cover a lot of surface. Then we also have a second brush in your box this month. This one is a round brush. It comes to a point and it's a size four. So this will be really helpful with the details in your mask. So in working with both of these together, really, it's, it's perfect for the gouache for other projects because you have the wide surface one and the pointed one. Okay, and lastly, we have our uh, glitter glue. So this is a really cool glitter glue bottle. It has a fine dispensing tip, so you can really get in a lot of detail. Definitely practice with this before you get started with your mask. Uh, you wanna get used to the way it flows on the paper and the amount of pressure you wanna use. So definitely get a scratch piece of paper and work out a few lines and patterns with that. It's also very common for the glitter to settle down to the bottom of the bottle. Don't worry about it, you can very easily pop off this top dispenser tip, stir everything that's inside, and you're good to go. If you do wanna see that done a little more closely, look for a demo, it's gonna be coming out soon also. How to stir up the context, I'll show you how to take off the tip and put it back on, and then we'll practice a making some basic lines, shapes, and just pattern designs. Okay, so that is the contents for this month's box. Again, two masks, a six set of paint, two brushes, and your glitter glue. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with my mask. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose to start with this one, and I'm going to create an outline for the color scheme. That way I know what I'm working on once I get started with the paint. I do suggest that you create a full um, design and sketch it out on scratch paper. That way you can make out your patterns, uh, your color scheme, and that way you're ready to go before you get started. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna start with the outline and I'll get straight to painting.
Okay, there you have it. This is our completed Venetian mask project. Uh, you have plenty of materials left with the acrylic to do other things, so definitely explore and work with that. Uh, with your mask, you can make more additions if you want. Maybe add some feathers, uh, sequins, or just play around with it. Just don't forget to share your work with us on our Facebook page. Uh, we love to see what you guys are creating, and it also makes you eligible for a chance to win a free Smart Art box. The post with the most likes, wins, and shares combined wins a free box every month. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe to our channel, and look for more videos coming up soon. We have Smart Art tips and techniques, short demos, and uh, Smart Art history segments coming also. Thanks again, guys.